Hi ladies, welcome back to my channel. So it's me, Shabri. I'm coming to you guys today with another foundation review video. You guys really seem to love my foundation review video, so I decided to go ahead and put up another one for you guys. This actually is going to be a foundation that I've had for about a month or two now, to be honest with you, but I was just prolonging the video. I actually wanted to use the foundation, wear it off camera, wear it more than one time so I can get like a really good feel on how the foundation works. The foundation I'll be reviewing today is going to be the Elon Second to None um, Foundation Stick. I picked mine up in the shade Earth 7. If you guys are not familiar with Iman, um, I will definitely link below in my description box their direct link to their website where you can go to purchase their foundation and all of their other products. I actually use their luxury face powders and I'm absolutely in love with their face powders. So I decided to pick up the foundation and I like it. I actually do like the foundation. I've got a lot of compliments when wearing that foundation by both male and female. So that says a lot when a male compliments you on your makeup that means it must look really good, right? So yes, I'm super excited about that foundation to show to you guys today. So again, I picked mine up from Walgreens. I didn't buy it directly from um, Iman Cosmetics. When I went to Walgreens, I was actually looking for this foundation and I noticed they had a sale. They had this actually marked down really low. I believe I paid only about $2 for this foundation. That kind of scared me when I was talking to the girl at the register. I believe she was saying they were getting rid of the Iman collection at that Walgreens. So all of the Iman cosmetics were marked down. So I picked up two foundations. I picked one up in the shade Earth 7, which is the shade that's closest to me. And then the other shade was Earth 6. So let me show you guys the difference. If you guys can see on camera, this is Earth 6 and this is Earth 7. Earth 7 is just a little bit deeper in tone than what Earth 6 is. Earth 6 on me actually looks really ashy. I'll just swipe it so you guys can see. So you see Earth 6 is really too light for my skin tone. But this is Earth 7 swipe right next to it. And you can see it's definitely more closer to my skin tone. It is still a little lighter than what I normally prefer but I'm going to make it work. I'm going to do this review video pretty similar to all of my other foundation review videos. So just to get right into the claims of this foundation, so it says full coverage, long wearing matte color for a natural looking complexion. And it's also supposed to create a flawless finish. I will say that it does give a soft matte finish that looks really natural. As far as it being full coverage, it's definitely something you have to build up. So I don't really know if I give it that full coverage claim. But normally what I do is just to go in and moisturize and prime my face as I normally do. My face is already moisturized so I am just going to go in and prime my skin. The primer that I'm using is the Becca Evermatte Poreless Primer. So I'm just going to take that and sort of apply it all over my face. One thing I do notice with this foundation is that you don't get as oily. I'll definitely agree that it is a matte foundation and it is oil free as far as it being long lasting. Um, I give it about six to seven hours or maybe five to six hours of wear. I won't say that it's super long lasting but for it to be only two dollars and let me get the actual price of the foundation. Okay so the regular price of the foundation at Target as well as Walgreens is about $15.99 and like I told y'all I got it on clearance and like marked down for two dollars so yeah. But it's regularly, pri it's regularly priced at um, $15.99. So it is a little expensive for a drugstore foundation. I'm not going to lie. That's kind of a lot. But Iman's products are kind of priced at that amount anyway. Pretty much once my face is primed and moisturized, I just go in and I kind of just make a bunch of lines over my face. What I'm going to do today, let's just do one side. So I'll do one side only so we can kind of compare it. What I like to do is just to go in with the brush and kind of further press it into my skin before like actually blending it out. really easy to blend out even though it is a stick foundation it isn't really drying as you guys see I'm really just lightly feathering it or stippling it into my skin so this 
is how it looks so far so it definitely is a natural looking foundation like i said it looks a lot like your skin but it does give you a flawless complexion i'm gonna do the other side of my face the foundation looks just on its own so as you can see it definitely does give like a really skin like finish like my skin just looks really flawless right now like it covered up all of my imperfections I have like this nice soft matte finish it isn't too matte it isn't too luminous it does definitely give you just like a matte finish so I love the finish of the foundation I love how it covers my imperfections and again I just love how it still looks natural but it still looks flawless so as I always do I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my face on camera just so you guys can see how other products work with the foundation and I'll come back and give you guys my final thoughts on this foundation with my entire face completed um, my camera cut off and I was adding my blush but pretty much I just added raisin not raisin blush I added um, femme noir blush as well as I forgot the name of the other blush but I'll list it below my description box I also went in to add um, max let's see this is max high drama liquid lipstick along with max um, night moth liner <laughs> and I added some bottom liner um, to my waterline I just used Mac feline cold liner is that what it's called or Matt Cole's liner I don't know I'm going to list all the products below in my description box so you guys will see what products I used to actually finish up my face but this is the completed look like my skin my face is really really pretty I really like the foundation how it still feels really good on my skin um, it isn't breaking up anywhere just yet. It's still giving me that matte finish. I just, I love this look. I love this lip kind of paired with the matte natural face. The lip kind of adds drama to it. 
but I absolutely love this foundation. Like I said, I've tried this foundation a lot before actually doing this video, so I know how it wears. You don't really get oily with this foundation until around like the fourth or fifth hour, as I stated. It will last you a good six hours um, with like a really nice foundation look. Of course, it'll last longer than six hours, but I'm talking how long does your foundation last on your face and it looks good i'll give this foundation six hours definitely definitely recommend this foundation especially for the price especially for the finish of the foundation as far as all of the claims of the foundation i'll definitely agree to it being natural looking matte foundation um long lasting and kind of sort of not too much but you guys just get into this foundation look like it's so pretty I love this foundation. As always, I'll leave a link in my description box directly where you can purchase this foundation. If you've tried the foundation, let me know below in my comment section how you're liking it. If you guys like these foundation review videos, please continue to thumbs up the video so I'll continue to get them out to you all. And until my next video, I will see you all later.